It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down for Top 10 Rise Attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down for Top 10 Rides at Jamboree Action Park. Starting off at number 10 we have River Rapids and whether you want a nice relaxing ride around a tropical oasis or want to splash and bump then this park's lazy river has you covered. These types of attractions are located at pretty much every water park around the world. Nevertheless it is still a great fun ride and this one in particular is not like your classic lazy river. When you hit the cave section of the river brace yourself as the water is going to get a little bit choppy and with all of the water spraying into your face after riding you'll definitely understand where the name came from. All aboard the Jamboree Express for our number 9 spot. Now before we do start to talk about the ride itself I do want to apologise for not having any videos of this as well as the number 8 position but do not worry as all the other rides on the list have got videos and we will try our best to get as many photos as we can. As far as the ride itself goes, not only is it enjoyable to head round the park on this train, but it is also incredibly handy with its free stops and room to store your luggage on the back. So it may not seem a lot now, but after riding it throughout the day, you will definitely see why Jamboree Express is at number 9. Are you under 10 and looking for a splash playground like no other? Well if so you will love our number 8 spot Billa Bonds Beach. Featuring everything from slides to water cannons to all of your favourite make believe critters all within the shallow waters for the youngsters out there this is definitely a must do. Unfortunately though if you are above 10 you cannot head into this area which it's a little bit annoying but there is still plenty more to enjoy. An example of that in fact is our number 7 spot which is Banjo's Billabong which you can head into if you are above the height of 1 metre. Covering a total of 4 stories, as soon as you arrive to this play area you will be blown away and if I had to describe what you could do here we will be here all day. However, a few of our top picks to do include the big yellow and red water slide, the water cannons from above and of course the humongous bucket which every few minutes will tip thousands of litres onto you. The question is though, would you brave the bucket or run away at last minute which I have never done before? Wink wink. If you are scared of heights, skip to number 5 as for our number 6 spot we have chairlift. Now some guests see this as an easy way to get to the bobsled but over here on Theme Park Coasting like the Jamboree Express we think this is such a fun attraction on its own. Opening over 40 years ago guests have always enjoyed taking a trip to the top of the hill passing many rides and of course seeing some fantastic views of the park and the surrounding area. Once you get to the top though the only attraction to do up there is the bobsled but do not worry as if you're on your way up realise that it's not for you. You can take the cable car straight back down to the bottom therefore in our eyes this is 100% a must do ride at the park. Top 5 work work and coming in for this spot we have our first individual slide on the list, Surf Hill Racer and what a slide it sure is. For anyone who is a little bit fed up of heading down slides on their back then you are in luck as on here you go down forwards through the beautiful landscapes. It does not stop there though as it is called Surf Hill Racer for a reason as due to there being a total of 7 lanes you can race your family and friends to the bottom and see who becomes the champion. Do you love snakes, dark tunnels, big drops and getting soaking wet? Well of course you do and if you said yes to any of these our number 4 spot Tyapun is the slide for you. Themed towards one of Australia's most deadly snakes 
If you dare to board your dinghy, you will enter into the belly and head round many intense elements in complete darkness. How fun does that sound? So no matter whether you are in a family, group or on your own, you will have an hysterical time on this slide. Did you see what I did there? Here we are at the top three rides at the park and taking the number three spot, we have bobsled. No, this is not a slide at a water park, but there is no doubt that in my mind, this ride deserves to be done on your trip. Spanning to almost one kilometer in length, when you see it from the cable car ride upwards, you will know that you are in for a treat. And you are nowhere near wrong, as not only does this ride provide some of the best views, but it has got quite an intense layout, with its many sharp turns and drops down the hill. Luckily though, you have got a brake attached, so you can decide whether you are going to zoom your way down, or take a nice leisurely ride. Just make sure not to block anyone else who may be going a little bit faster behind you. From snakes to spiders, we are starting off to complete all of my fears, but our number two spot, Funnel Web, should not be feared by anyone. A fun fact is that this ride has got the world record for the biggest spider structure, which is pretty cool if you ask me. The funnel itself does not disappoint either though, with you starting off by heading into a huge black tube full of some surprisingly scary twists and turns before the standout element, the web, where after the massive drop you will rise up and down till the final tunnel at 30 km per hour, really giving an exhilarating experience to the park guests. The only reason why it is not at number one though is because that is pretty much it and after a long queue it can feel pretty short sometimes. Nevertheless, it is still a worthy ride and is comfortably positioned at number two. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at the park, we have the perfect storm. And this really is a perfect slide. To be honest, I don't even know where to start when talking about this slide as there are so many good parts, but to start from the beginning, you will drop into a tornado where you will then rise up and down like on Funnel Web. However, unlike Funnel Web, this is then followed by two indoor funnels, one of which is really bright and the other where it's flashing from darkness to bright and then back again. On top of this, there is also a long tunnel section creating a feeling that you are really stuck inside of a tornado. If you think it can't get any better than this, well then you would be wrong. As looking at this ride, I love the theming around it, and most importantly, the on-ride audio just brings this slide to the next level. Therefore, a trip to not only the park, but the whole of Australia in general is no way near complete without a ride on Perfect Storm. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously, you all have your own opinions, and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video at the top, we have got two videos that we know you will love. And at the bottom, there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said, there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.